think the most important thing when we look at a yearling is to make sure that the horse marries up with the pedigree. So if you're looking for a fast sprinter, they need to be well muscled, well balanced, stocky, with a powerful action. If you're looking to buy a horse with more stamina, they need to be leaner, they need to have more elegance, and they need to have probably a larger stretch. And so we're trying to marry pedigree with physical. It's very helpful. We tend not to be able to analyse whether it looks like its mother or not. But what we can do is analyse the stallions that we know in the marketplace and therefore whether their progeny look the same. It's always a bonus. It's, a, it's, it's very rare that you get prepotent sires that stamp their stock that the progeny don't tend to be good. So, I mean, we start off by looking at the walk. Um, the first thing we'll ask a yearling to do when it comes out of its box, we'll ask the handler to take it for a walk for us and we'll analyse its movement. They want to have a good stretch and a steady even stride. The covering of ground is so key in a race, so if they do it well and they have a fluid movement, it's so helpful for them in the race. Also, a good movement allows easier rhythm of breathing. If you have a harsh and hard action, um, action it can be harder for the horse to get that good rhythm and an easy process of breathing. Whether it carries natural muscle, you know, a horse has got to withstand quite a lot in training. It's going to be in full exercise for over two years. So if it doesn't have a natural constitution and natural muscle, it's going to take a lot of work to, to build that up. And horses that naturally have that are always a big plus for us. Um, shape of their hind leg and shape of their front legs are also key. We never buy a horse that's not correct. A sales ground is a great experience for a horse and it's also quite telling. If a horse is sweaty and it's reacting badly and it's nervous or anxious, has its ears pinned back, you know that those are telling signs for how it might react when it gets to the race course, for example. And the horse has only got so much adrenaline in its body at one time, it's like a, it's like a tank, it builds up and then it can be used. And if the horse is using its adrenaline in the prelims to the race, you know it's not going to have any for when it really hurts. So you want them to have a relaxed, calm nature about them so that they're, they're handling all of the experiences that they're going to have to take on on the race course well and in their stride. I think the depth of girth for us, the heart and engine room where the lungs are, the heart is, I think that it has to be one of the most vital areas because a thoroughbred in full flight pumping 1800 litres of air around its body a minute and 300 litres of blood and if the heart and lungs aren't capable of dealing with that efficiently and well then you're going to have a hard job allowing the blood to oxygenate the muscles to keep all that side of things going so the, the heart and the lungs have to be the most vitally important factor of a horse but unfortunately they're inside it so we can't measure them but the depth of girth is a really good indication of what they might be.